Peggy 3. In the real world, international football management offers a unique set of challenges which the average club manager could go a whole career without facing. Challenges such as bringing together a disparate group of individuals for a short period, dealing with even higher public expectation and having club managers be unhappy at you for picking their players and also for not picking them as this can affect the players' morale. In FM13, we've added a lot of these elements into the game so it reflects the pressures of international management more accurately than before. As in the real world, the media focus on the international manager in FM13 is pretty intense, from the moment that qualification begins for an international tournament right through to your team's exit, glorious or otherwise, the media is on your back to scrutinise every team selection and tactical decision. The press will always be there. They'll ask you about who's in your squad and who isn't, they'll clamour for certain players to be picked or dropped, and they'll focus intently on your responses to all of their questions. This media intention may be intense, but it does serve to focus the international manager's mind. After all, If you pick a player for a certain position over another player in the same position who's consistently achieving better ratings, you better have a good explanation. The media will also keep a very keen eye on how you deal with injuries to key players in the build-up to and during international games and tournaments. Important as it is, though, good interaction with the media is only one of the communication skills that an international manager will have to demonstrate. The successful international manager will also have to show a similar flair for interacting with his players. In FM13, the international manager's interaction with individual players is more sophisticated than it's been previously. For example, you can now tell a player that he needs to be playing more first-team football if he's to figure in your plans, or even that he needs to move to a bigger club. You'll also have to deal with players who've been left out of tournament squads and you can expect those who've played a part in qualifying to be particularly upset if they don't make it onto the plane. And it's not just about dealing with individuals either. Something which we've introduced into FM13 is that international managers will now communicate with their entire squad through team meetings, which take place both when you first assemble your squad and also before they return to their clubs. How you handle these team meetings will have a real bearing on how your team performs, and team meetings are also an essential tool for maintaining squad morale during tournaments. Just as in the real world, international management in FM13 is full of pressure, difficult and possibly not for everyone. However, if you get it right, you could find yourself leading your country to tournament glory. Could there be a better incentive than that?